Right, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today I'm looking at a puzzle called Butterfly Nebula. I think this is a debut by Celestia, who is very welcome to join the community of setters who have featured on the channel. This is a killer Sudoku. Very simple rule set. Somebody was taking us to task recently for uh, what happened to us asking for simple rule sets. We do like simple rule sets. We also like clever puzzles. And frankly, whatever we find and our testers find that is really, really good is what gets on the channel. So there you go. That's a little bit of selection bias there. Um, now, we'll have a look at this in a moment. Don't forget that on Patreon, we've launched our snack doku um competition so that's our reward for this month a hundred four by four puzzles of varying degrees of difficulty but none of them will take you forever and the whole pack has been done by hundreds of people already so thank you very much for being with us on patreon in what is clearly the best sudoku club in the world and uh for having a go at that hunt that's brilliant um, and we hope you have a great December as a result. Now, what else have we got going on? We've got all our apps. Check them out on the links under the video. We've got Sven Sudoku Pad as well. There's our holiday merchandise, which is ho, ho, ho going well. And um, we're very pleased with that. Thank you very much for engaging with the channel in any way, even if it's just to criticize my scanning or ability at Sudoku. You're welcome. It's fine. Um, now, let's have a look at, well, I mean, I'm going to go through the rules of this puzzle, but they're very straightforward. Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine goes in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Digits in a cage may not repeat, and they must sum to the number given in each cage. You will notice that all the cages are three cells, large and the same shape. And uh, that is a tribute to the feat um, that Celestia has achieved. Also... The grid contains basically very few digits in cages for a killer Sudoku. About half of the digits in the, cage, in the grid are in a cage. That's quite an impressive feat in a killer, actually. Anyway, let's have a go at this. You give it a try on the first link of the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Um, and I'm seeing one cage where I know the digits. They are one, two, four in a seven cage. No repeats allowed. And after that, we have to find something to do. Um, okay. The 10 cages can never contain an 8 or a 9. Is that of any interest? I mean, it's a very simple... ...fact. Not quite. I'm looking at that column and thinking where can 8 and 9 go. Unfortunately, they could both go in the 20 cage and it's very unsurprising that a 20 cage will have at least one. So I'm not sure that that gives me anything to work with, really. I'm wondering about potential X-wings with low digits, which must populate these 10 cages to a large extent. Um... What are the possible make makeups of a 10 cage? I'm just going to aid memoir them over here. They're 127, 136, 145, and 235. There's only four of them. Now, what does that mean? 127, 136, 145, and 235. I'm wondering about whether, I mean, that is four. If there were only three types, we might be able to start colouring cage types. I don't think that's available to us. Um, hmm. Okay, all of these... Okay, these six digits, they cannot include both seven and six because... Each cage, ah, uh, that's not quite true. I was thinking that that would put ones into two of these cells. That, that, that doesn't necessarily, well, does it? Does it? 
I don't know if that applies. Okay, if seven and six were in these cages, one of them would be a seven two one cage and another would be a six three one cage. The other one would have to not have a one in and would be two three five. I think that is possible. So I don't think I can rule out seven and six from those cells. Okay. Um, this must have two low digits in. Nine and three cells must have two from one, two, three. Now, I'm not really getting there. I'm now wondering about set, but I don't know how to use that on this. Uh, no, maybe let's try and use the secret. Okay, the secret I'm going to share with you is the sum total of every row, column, and box in a Sudoku. Always the same. Incredibly, it's always 45. So... The sum of this column is 45. Um, so the sum of green is 45. Now, the sum of yellow, well, no, orange there is third. Uh, orange is a, another bad choice. Sorry, colorblind people. Let's go with red. The sum of red is 30. So the difference between those three cells and those three is 15. Or let's look at the sum of all of these. Let's get rid of the red and look at the sum of all the green cages being 40. So all, uh, let's not get that in. Right, so all the green cages add up to 40, which is a maximum of 15 in five different cells in that column and 21 in six different cells in that column, which is a maximum of 30, a minimum of 36. So that has a maximum of four to make up the 40. I mean, that's a much better result than if you tried to do the same thing in the symmetrical place here, where... Oh, it's not quite symmetrical, is it? No, it's a... Oh, I see, we'd be taking that, then we'd be symmetrical. But because that adds up to 46, there's a lot more scope for that digit. It could go all the way up to 7, which is the maximum in a three cell cage for one of the digits. Wow, I'm not really seeing what's going on here at all. Um, do these three digits have to be in these six cells? Uh, no, nah, that wouldn't matter. If those three had to be in those five cells, they'd form a triple X wing and have to be up here, including that, which would interest me slightly, but as it is, I don't think it does. Or does it? This digit. The only way it doesn't appear in a 10 cage anywhere, the only way, therefore, it could be eight or nine would be if it appeared here and here, because that's the only place in box five for it. So if this was eight or nine, would we get any further than that? It's quite interesting because it's reasonably, I don't know. I think we've worked out that at least one of eight or nine is in this pair, in this column. So. Oh, that's quite neat. Right, for that to be 8 or 9, and thus in both of these places, then both 8 and 9s would be used up in those cells, 
Well, there would be an eight or nine there, and there would be an eight or nine there, so there'd have to be a three in this gauge. If that is not eight or nine, I was wondering if I could get it down to being a three. If both of those are eight or nine, again, it's a nine, eight, three cage. Ah, it's interesting. Um, but I don't think that has to be the case. This could be four, five, six, or seven with a nine or eight there and a 9 or 8 here, as far as I can see at the moment. Yeah, I'm not finding... Ah! Okay, here's a thought I haven't had before. T these two cells can't appear in this 10 cage. Let's go back to my mnemonic of the 10 cage possibilities. Not mnemonic, my aid, aid memoir. I'm using the wrong fancy term. Okay, those are the four 10 cage makeups that are possible. These two digits don't go in those three cells. So these five digits are all different. Are there any of these pairs that don't share a digit? Those two share a one, those two share a one, those two share a two, those two share a three. Those two share a 1, and those two share a 5. There are no pairs that don't share a digit. So this cell must be repeated in this cage here. So we'll get rid of the colouring we've done. That digit is also there. It is a repeat digit because there must be one between those cages. OK, that's something. Now, we've got the same sort of pattern here. Two 10 cages, basically those five digits all have to be different because they all see each other. So that digit is going to be a repeat there, and that is a different repeat digit. Unfortunately, there are several candidates, one, two, three, and five for the repeat digits, but work with me, work with me. Let's see if we can get something else going on. Now, red is not the same as yellow, according to column five. So these digits are not red. So this repeat digit does not appear in this cage. So it's a third different... It doesn't have red in it, whatever red is. Say red was 1, this must be the 235 cage. So we've got one of the possible cages here, one of them here, and a third one here. Now, this one doesn't have to be a fourth cage. It can't be the same as this one or this one. But it could be the same as this one. I'm certain it can't be the same as either of these because they'd share four cells in column five and you can't have four cells from three different digits. Um, now these two have to share a, a cell. similarly, but it could be one of those shared with that cell or that one shared with any of them. Oh, that's not so helpful. And this one, what do we know about this? Very little, frankly. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't have any yellow in it, does it? Wow, okay, I mean, it's quite interesting to think that yellow is either there or it's here. If it was in one of these two cells... Ah, oh, no, I was going to say that we know and that we know that these are different cages, but we don't. We've actually proved that they could be the same. We haven't proved that they could be the same cage. We've allowed them to be the same cage, the same constituent makeup. So anyway, this is probably the right way to think about the puzzle finally. Ah, this repeat digit, of course, it's not one, two or four. Oh, so just as I eliminate the aid memoir, I need it back. Right, the possible repeat digits were one, two, 
3 and 5. So this repeat digit is a 3 or a 5 because it appears up here, not in the 1, 2, 4 group. Hmm. So if it's a 3, these cells are 1, 6, 2 and 5. That would give me a 1, 2 X-wing somewhere in this group. If it's a 5, these cells are 1, 2, 3 and 4. And that's not... Oh no, that is just possible. That would give me a 1, 2, 4 repeat up here. Oh, that was close to doing something. That is frustrating. I don't think this 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 trick is worth applying to a 9 and 11 cage or a 10 and 13 cage over here. Um, or is it? These add up to 22. No, to, sorry, to 20. No, it's not. That's not useful. I was wondering about Okay, 20, 27. Oh, that's it. There's the actual break-in. Let's get rid of the aid memoir. It's these three cages. I mean, there we go, 14 minutes in. Never spotted this, but I've got it now. If you add up those, they're 27. The minimum value of these is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 21. The minimum value of these is 1, 2, 3 equals 6. That's 27. So that's what's going on. We've got a 1, 2, 3 triple and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 triple. This is one of 7, 8 or 9. So it's not our red cell friend. Um, now, how, how am I going to use this at all? Right. One of the, okay, one of the low digits from 1, 2, 3 has to be in these cells. A nine cage contains two low digits from one, two, three, and one middly digit. Down here, we've also got one low digit and one middly digit. So we've got one low digit here and one middly digit, one low digit here, which is a four, and one middly digit. So here, we've got one low and one middly digit. So now, this 11 cage must be made up of a low digit there, a low digit here, and a middly digit. It's got to be 236. Wow. It's got to be. So the 2 or 3 is there. That includes the 6. The middly digit in this cage, the 9 cage, is a 5. So it's a 531 cage. And now 1, 3, and 5 can't appear in those cells because there is a repeat digit in these cages and it's a 3 and we know where it is. So I'm quite glad I did this sort of work to understand this pattern. But um, I could have started in a different position in this puzzle entirely. But there we go. We've got 1, 4, and 2 is placed there now. Now, did there have to be a 2 in this group? I'm pretty sure they did. Um, I am going to, yet again, look at my aid memoir of 10 cages. The shared 3 has a 2 in, the shared 5 has a 2 in. There is a 2 in these cages, right? That goes here. So that's now the other cell from 3 or 5. Let's make it green to make up this 10 cage. Now, this cannot be a 5 rather prettily now because that would have to be a 1-4 pair, and that would kill that cell. So red has become a 3, green has become a 5. This pair adds up to 7, not using 2-5 or 3. That's a 1-6 pair. We get a 4 in the corner and a 1 there. This is very clever. Now, the repeat digit here is not a 3. Is that That's all we know about it from the place digits. Actually, I can put a three there by Sudoku. Four threes looking into the box. Always a bit of a giveaway. That is not a three. Um, I thought I was gonna know what this repeat digit was straight away and I absolutely don't. 
Now, if this cage has a one in it, this is a one repeat digit, and that's not possible because of this one six pair. It would kill them both off. So this cage does not have a one in it. It is therefore five, three, two, and we found that the yellow repeat digit is a five. That's a one, four pair. Now we're cooking with gas and seven, eight, nine go there. Now, minimum cells here are six and seven. So this is either a six, seven pair or a six, eight pair. And that is a one or a two. What about these two? The minimum they can be is two and four. That won't work because that would require a four here. So now the minimum they can be is two and six. That won't work because that would require a two here. So I think they've got to be two and seven with a one sticking out here. And this cage can't have a seven in it now. What are the 20 combinations? 983 still looks very possible to me. 634125. These digits are in fact an 8-9 naked pair. They see a 7 in one of those and they see all of these digits. So that's a 7, that's a 3. Uh, we've got 4, 8 and 9 to place in box 8. 32514, 27351, 4, that's 4 or 6. This is 8 or 9. I d it can't be 6 because we've said 6 is in one of those cells, so none of those are 6, and that is 6. That's a 1, 4 pair, that's not a 4. This is 7, 8 or 9, it can't be 6. That's not a seven. So we've got an eight, nine pair in this row. That gives me a four there. Now, we've, that's five or six. Oh, I've got other cages over here. I wonder how to do them best. One of those two is a three. Would that we knew it were in that cage. Um, Okay, those are 4789, bit of good lifting, excessive pencil marking, but it gives me a 4789 quad here. So everything else in this column is 2, 5, or 6. Well, that is effectively a naked single then. 2 there. 5, 6 pairs elsewhere. Um, this is 7, 8, or 9. I can't do better than that at the moment. One of those is a 4 in that group, so that's not a 4. Um, one of these is a four. I suppose that's fairly obvious. Now, five, one, three, two. Oh, I need to do something across the middle, don't I? What about this? I don't know. I just don't feel like I've got much information about this cage yet. Oh, that could recolor that. There we go. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um... Maybe I have informa negative information about this cage. What do I know can't be in it? I, I, I don't have an answer to that question. That's very annoying. This digit is at least a four. It can't be a nine because we can't put a three here. If it was an eight, that would be either a three, two or a one, four pair, which would either break that cell or that cell. So that's not an eight. If it was a set, I'm gonna keep doing this. If it was a seven, this couldn't be five, one. So it would have to be four, two. And both of those would become a one. That's no good either. Right, now we're getting down to the, to the bare bones. If that was a six, this is either four, three or five, two. If it's four, three, we go one, two, six. Hang on. If that's a six, this could be four, three. Yes, four, three, one, two, six. No, it can't be four, three. We're crashing into that three, you numpty. And it can't, did I say it couldn't be five, two? Yes, this can't be six. Because this can't be 6, 1 because of the 6, it can't be 5, 2 because of the 5, and it can't be 4, 3 because of the 3. That's delightful. So that has to be a 4. Now, this 10 cage does not have a 4 in it, because that 4 sees all of these cells. 
Um, that's not enough information. Right, let's go back to these add up to nine and they're not five, four or three, six. They're either two, seven or one, eight. So one and two have been used up in those three cells. And that is a four. And that is a six. And this is not a six. The six in this pair is there. That is now one, two, seven, eight quad. And that is a nine. I think that works. Um, Okay, so one and two have been used up here. These two cells can't be four. They are minimally three, five. They can't be three, six. So they are three, five. That's a two. That can't be two now. So that can't be seven. Um, now, I was going to say we've done all the cages. We absolutely haven't. Here's another one. This cell sees one, two, three, four now. In fact, I've got a 3x window. That doesn't do anything. Um, that can't be 4. We've placed 4 in box 4. This is lovely. I mean, it's a beautiful flow to this. Just took me a while to see this break in, that's all. But, but I've done some good work about the geometry of the other things. So I'm not going to beat myself up about that. One of those is a 1. Um, right, this is... Five, six, I'm going to say five, six, seven, eight, or nine. I don't think I can limit it any further. But do these both have to be low digits in the sense of one, two, three, or four? Not quite. We could have a six, five, one cage up here. I think that's the only way to avoid these both being from one, two, three, four. I don't know if we need to avoid that or not. Right, let's just have a look at some Sudoku. 351642. This is 7, 8, or 9. One of these is a 6. 3265. I'm sure I am missing something. Oh, there's a 5, 6 pair. That can't be 9. So one of those is a nine. Um, four is in one of those cells. Seven, no, I was gonna say it's in one of those, not necessarily the case. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're not done in this puzzle. Three is in one of those cells. If it was there, these would add up to nine. They couldn't be three, six, or one, eight. They would either be two, seven, or four, five, if three was there. They couldn't be four, five, because you'd have five, three there killing that cell. So if this was a three, this would have to be two, seven. And they couldn't be two, seven because of that. Oh, that's gorgeous. So this three is impossible. So three in this box goes there. Uh, that's gonna make that a five and that a three. Now, is that gonna do anything for us? We couldn't put three in this cage. So it's not got an eight in, because that would need a three. Now, can it be nine, two, one? <sighs> it really can. I guess the real question is, can it be 156? That's an interesting question, because if not, we've got low digits here, and we know what that one is straight away. The only low digit available there is one. Ah. So this is always a one. If this is a 156 cage, the only place for one is there. And if it instead has two low digits, the only low digit candidate here is one. Wow. That is logic like I haven't really seen in a killer Sudoku before. I mean, that, that tells me either this is very innovative and brilliant, or I am missing some other simpler step. <laughs> I think we know which one is more likely, but let me continue anyway, because I'm enjoying this journey. 
Lots of candidates there. Okay, that can't be a five because of this. But these two add up to 11, which feels very spinal tappy. Um, I heard they're gonna try a reboot of Spinal Tap, a sequel. Um, and the person I heard it from immediately went, no, don't do it. Don't know what your thoughts are. Um, I think on the basis that the first Spinal Tap movie was so perfect and original, it should not be repeated and sullied. Right, now, what are we, what are we doing up at the top? We've got a two... Oh, what I didn't mention in the intro is we're streaming as I'm doing this. If you've been watching this for 28 minutes, stop watching now. Go and watch the stream. If you've been watching it for 28 minutes just as I've begun, just as it's loaded, go and watch the stream first of us playing Chance of Sonar, then come back here. Um, now, this is a pair that adds to it. And I thought this was going to get stuff done. It didn't. Even the one there... I haven't been able to finish off the ones here. Am I colouring seven, eights and nines? That might be interesting. That might be interesting. I don't know. I, I don't know that I can colour them yet. Because I can find pairs that aren't the same, but I can't find trios that are necessarily different. Okay, here's a thought. Here's a little thought. Six and five and two can't go in those cells. Now, how many of them can go in there? I suppose two of them can. Otherwise, two of them are in here. Which would give us a one, two, five, six quad. Hmm wouldn't do anything else. No, we're still not there now. Oh, goodness, getting that one. I thought that was going to finish, finish the thought processes required. I really did. Um, one of those is a nine. So if that was a nine, we'd have a nine here. And we'd have a nine there and there and there. Already got one there. We'd get one here and here and here. So if the top corner is a nine, we'd know where all the nines go. And wouldn't we be proud of ourselves? I don't know. One of these is a four. I mean, I can't see how that's going to help to mark it. Um, right, whatever that is. Okay, let's get rid of these yellow and red colorings. They're just pointless at the moment. Let's look at that cell, which has to be there. It's obviously in one of those two. It is five or six. And one of those two. And one of those two. But where else is one? I mean, it's in one of those two as well. And one of these three. Ooh, and it's in one of these three. It makes such a difference if that, either that is five or six, or that is a pair of five and six. If that's a pair, what happens up here? Three, one, that has to be... No, I don't know. I was going to say that has to be four. Uh, that wouldn't be proven. Okay, if that's a five, six pair, then two is in one of those cells. That's a one. Then you get eight. Eight would have to be there and there. And in one of those. It would be there. I don't know. That's not really getting anything done. That's if this was a 5-6 pair. 2 would be in one of those cells. 
In fact, that's always going to happen. It's, it, it is going to be about these two, isn't it? And these, the pairs that add up to nine here. It's just a bit hard to... to work out how that has impact elsewhere in the puzzle. I think that's that's where the decision point lies, which is really, ah, okay, here's something tiny. One of those is a seven, and one of those is a seven, and that's an X-wing stopping that being a seven. Maybe that's not tiny. What, what, the tiny bit that I saw was that one of these is a seven. Then I translated it into one of those not being a seven. Okay, that's worth spotting. There's also an X-Wing either on 8s or 9s, which is going to make one of these either 8 or 9 as well. This is now 4, 8 or 9. Hmm, okay, so if that's 2, 9, did we, were we able to work out what happens to 9s around the grid? I think we were. I did look at that. So if it's 2, 9 up there, then we end up with 9s in these positions. I'm going to mark them orange. So if that was a 9, 9s end up in those positions. If this is 6, 5, that 6 would force a 1 here. That feels quite interesting. That would make this a 2 and this a 7. 1 and 8 here. So then 8s would be going... Can I propagate 8s? Not really. No, I don't have enough information. Well, no, I don't have enough information to propagate 8s, I don't think. Oh, that is frustrating. We're very close to a finish. I know that, but I don't know what it is. Oh, right. Okay, purple didn't work. I'm getting rid of purple. Those oranges are positions for nine, if that's a nine in the corner. Um, if this is a five, six pair, that's the alternative. Then we were seeing that we would get a 6 here, and the only thing I could see that that definitely did was give me a 1 here. But that fixes all of these cells. To, and that becomes a 7. That's not going to get anything done. Yes, it is. It's going to make that a 7, and that a 7. And that's the 7 in column 3, then. Okay, well that's a bit more interesting. Then 7 has to be in one of those two cells. We've obviously got one there already. There's going to be one there and one there, and one in those. But the only orange cell that I've highlighted... Well, I mean, I've highlighted this one. So that is going to be, depending on what is going on up here, that is going to be 7 or 9. It can't be 8 anymore. I wish that did something for the puzzle, but I don't think it does. No, I don't think it does at all. Um, eight is confined to one of those two and one of those two, and that's not really, that's not really interesting. Oh, goodness gracious, this is annoying. Okay, let's think again. If that's a two nine pair, six and five are here. Then that becomes a 1, and that becomes a 2. So that goes with that 2 that we'd have established. I suppose that's obvious, actually. If that was a 2, 2 couldn't be there. So that's not going to butter my parsnips. Oh, grief. What on earth is the key to this puzzle? So close to unlocking it. I mean, it could bifurcate easily and solve it from here, but we don't want to do that. Ah, look, this can't be a four. This is seven, eight, or nine. There we go. That's the key to solving the puzzle. Just as I ask, what is the key? It occurs to me. That cell sees one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we've got a seven, eight, nine triple in the final column, and we do get five in the corner. 
and that's a six. And all this highlighting was useless because that was founded on nine in the corner. Um, right, that six does look down here and make this a one. Not a gray, but a one. I know this digit because of my seven, eight, nine triple is a six. Maybe that was accessible earlier. This is now not a one, but this is a one, and that's going to sort out row five. Eight there. This can't be seven in any way. That can't be seven. Um, eight there. That fixes this box. Nine and eight. That's complete. That gives me nine and seven and eight and seven. That was the key. That one observation about row three, column nine. Isn't that weird? That it all comes down to that. This can't be nine. So the nine in the bottom row is in the corner. That's an eight. That's not. That's become a five now. Six, eight, seven, nine, five, seven and four here. That's an eight. Uh, this is four or seven. Right, now this is a six. These don't have an eight possibility. They're a seven, nine pair. So that's a four. Seven, nine, nine, I'm trying to type there. That is seven and four. This is two and four up here. That's going to fix two and seven. And our trip through the butterfly nebula is very nearly complete. Uh, I think the Butterfly Nebula is a real thing in space. I'm not 100% sure. But this puzzle is a real thing down here on Earth where we get to solve fabulously constructed, logical paths like this one. And that was great fun. Thank you, Celestia. Lovely idea. Well, just brilliantly put together. Really entertaining puzzle. Just a killer Sudoku, some might say. I say an apotheosis. Thank you very much for watching, as always, on the channel. Uh, do check out the stream if you haven't already. Uh, I hope it'll be fun, but I haven't filmed it yet. We'll see you later uh, tomorrow, maybe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.